Hello, people, my Nubians. Today is going to be a little different video, actually. Um, um, in the past, I've made videos on my iPod, and it's been a while since I've actually made a video on my iPod. And I haven't made a video lately, and I just decided <laughs> gotta make a video, so thought of something up, and. This is different from what I've done before. I'm not sure if I've done a video like this or not, but this is a tutorial. I'm going to make another one after this, probably. This is um, how to get or how to record your iPod screen or iPhone. I'm not sure if this works on it. I'm, this doesn't work on iOS 7 yet. Um, I'm pretty sure because um, when my friend tried it like that, it didn't work. And yeah. So. First thing you're going to do is you're going to need jailbreak. Um, there's a way to do this without jailbreak, and I'm going to show it both in this video. First is jailbreak. So here we go. So, first thing you're going to do is go into Cydia. Now, it takes a little bit to load. My iPod's pretty slow. Sorry about that. Let's just let that load here. You can skip ahead if you don't want to wait. Here we go. So then you're going to go to search this. You don't have to type in any sources. This just comes normally. Or any. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm stupid. So you're going to look up display. I'm actually using it right now. Recorder. And then you're going to click search. And now it's really easy. The, it's really easy use and it downloads a lot of things with it, like activator and stuff. As far as I know, this only works on iOS 6 and below. <clears throat> I'm not sure how far below because I'm stupid, like I said, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on iOS 7 yet. So basically, you need an iPod 4G or 3G, I think. And, or, an iPhone 3G. I don't know my, my iOS devices, or I, god dang it, Apple devices and stuff. I'm really stupid, so don't expect a lot from me, but. So yeah, I have it from a, lo um, a couple things, but click on the one on the top one, um, from Big Boss. I'm, I don't think you're gonna have to buy it. Um, it's free, so all you're going to do is, you're, it's going to look like this, and it's going to be, but, yep, your iOS version is compatible, you can read everything about it and stuff, basically, it's a really good recorder, and as I said, I'm using it right now, and I think when you're wearing headphones, though, you can only hear it out of the left headphone, I don't know very much, all I know is what I've gotten from mine, mine, Okay, so the button in the corner says modify. It should say install for you. All you gotta do is click install. And it should work. I think you have to respring. And then you're good. So that's that. And then it pops up over there when you're recording. It shows that little dot in the corner. I don't want to tap on it right now. You can easily, if you want to adjust anything, just go into settings. And go down, and you will see Display Recorder. So that's how you get it with a jailbreak. It's that easy. And now moving on to without the jailbreak. This is a little more complicated, but honestly, I think it's easier. So here we go. First thing you're going to need to do is go to Safari. Now, once you're in Safari, I hope I do this right. Oh. You know me, I'm not going to get it right. And then, holy crap, what has my brother been looking up on here? That burns. Anyway, so then you're going to look up, you're going to type in the search bar, mu4ios.net. I'm going to click enter, wait for it to load, and this website, I, I really bookmark it, put it on your home screen, something... 
It is a really cool website that comes with a lot, a lot of emulator apps and lots of cool things. But what we're looking for is right here. Re oh, went back up. Record my screen. Now, I don't see the difference between record my screen and record screen. Record screen is a little worse, I think. Just click install on record my screen. It's going to tell you set your date to 2012 to continue. This allows you to install the applications, otherwise the applications will fail to install. So basically, you just type in to you go to your settings and then you change the date. All you got to do is go to settings and go down to general. Go all the way down to date and time. Then turn off, set off, set automatically, set date and time to click on the top one to 2012. So once you've done that, you go back into Safari, install, wait for it to load. Sorry about that. It says Ubuntu on the com would like to install, record my screen, install. It'll say waiting, and from what I've experienced, I'm not really sure though, because a lot of my apps stopped working all of a sudden. It might just be me, but if you set your date back, I think you can set your date back. I'm pretty sure it'll work, but I'm not really sure because the app stopped working for me at one point, but it might have just been a crash thing with this other app I had. I'm not sure if you can set your date back with this. Sorry. But basically, that's how you do it without jailbreak, and it says ready. All you gotta do is tap record, and it'll start recording your screen. And then when you're done, you just go back in and tap stop, and you got your settings and your recordings and all that stuff. So it's as easy as that. Um, just really quick, I'm gonna set automatically back on, and the date and time will be right again. Go back in. Yeah, from what I know, I'm pretty sure it still works, but I, I don't know. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. This is my first tutorial video. I may make more in the future if you want more. But, yeah, see you guys later.